Hello and welcome to the Hexagonal. I'm Andrew. This is episode six, and you're never going to believe what's happened off camera. So, in the last episode, we were beaten by Ferro 3 1 at home. That came after a 0-0 draw with El Magro and things weren't looking good and I know I'm probably getting a reputation as a bit of a tinkerer, I am, I can't help myself. If it doesn't work and I feel it should, I go away and I fuck things up basically. But what it was, I went and had a look at the squad, I was looking at everyone's natural position. I'm trying to work out the best way for this team to play, so we played Long next. We lost 3 2. We went 2 0 up though. Uh, I was like, I've cracked it. I've cracked the formation, which I'll, I'll get to. But yeah, lost 3 2, but they are one of the better teams. And then they may beat all boys in Hymnasia with this 4 4 2 that you'll see. And then there was, a, there was a break. So we did some friendlies. We won all of them, playing a mixture of all right and bad teams, but it was looking positive. And there was a transfer window, which we'll get to as well. Uh, we'll do that now, actually. Let's go to the transfer window. We, You can only bring in two players in Argentina in the kind of mid, mid window. So we brought in this man, bit of a bruiser. Uh, Jose Leguz Leguzamon, Leguzamon, probably murdered that as well. Uh, we got him in because he can play DM and centre back. Physicals are all really good. Mentals are pretty decent, like, and good enough at marking and tackling that he can play DM and centre back. Uh, he was a bit, bit, bit of experience too, uh, and then we needed a striker. Desperately needed a striker. So we've got Ignacio Hujene. As you can see, great first touch, heading, anticipation, good determination, great off the ball, decent enough speed, natural fitness, like everything we wanted in a poacher. So formation-wise, we have gone to this. Uh, it's 442 with two DMs because Garay and Melo naturally wanted to play DM. So I was like, well, in Garay is a natural Segundo Volante. So it kind of makes him push up into that space where the red is anyway. So that's not going to be an issue there. Uh, and then Melo protects defence. We've got the fullbacks. Uh, Basso going forward with Barberini cutting inside. We did lose Acosta. He went back to Kilmes uh, after his loan spell. We couldn't get him to agree. Uh, and we have got usually got Ruiz Gomez on the right, but he's injured. Uh, he's been doing really well. Did start off a poacher and a false nine, like I said before. But with uh, Hujene, just wants to be a bit more pushed up when he's played attacking forward and done really well. So after the the friendlies, we got into the league. Look at all those greens. We were Chicago, Kelmez, that was a great game. I'm going to show you the highlights from that one. Deportivo Moron and Belgrano all fell by the wayside. Here's the highlights from the Kelmez game. Big man, the Guzamon with a header from a corner gets us going. Then a great bit of pressing here. Post defense is a mistake. Dominguez to Hujene, his goal as well. Nine minutes, I suppose, and then Hujene Dominguez. Hujene's great first touch pass the defender. Bang. 3 0, nine minutes gone. In absolute dreamland. They got a penalty, tucked it away, 3 1. Heart starts tightening a bit. And then Melo with his absolutely brilliant strike from outside the box. 4 1. Barberini, Hujene. Torres, Dominguez, that's the football we want. That's what we'll be waiting for. Great finish there. Then, free kick off the post, rebound. It's fine. Then we start panicking a little bit. Terrible from Basso and off from Macagno, our goalkeeper, 
gets them back in it. I was worried. And then eight minutes to go. Garay to Torres. Fujide, hat trick, six three. Absolutely brilliant. That's that's the kind of performance we've been waiting for. 17 shots, 12 on target. And then we beat uh, Villa de Mine, 3 1. Look at this table. We're third. Third, two points off top. And how this league works is the two teams from the Premier B National that finish top of their groups, Group A and Group B, they go into promotion playoff. One team goes up. Second, third, and fourth go into a uh, knockout with the other three teams. Uh, it's quarterfinal, semis, and final for another promotion place. Today, we are playing. Ikarita Juniors, they are second, we're third, there's one point in it, one eight in a row off camera. We kind of know what's coming, don't we? This is going to be very interesting. We can win this. We're, we're, we're going, we're going for it. Like, so this is the team we're going for. We have a couple of players out, Martinez centre-backs out. We have got Randazzo and the Guzman in there. Basso and Zurbriggen. Full back, Garay Melo in front of the defence. Diaz on the right because Gomez is injured. Barberini's starting to play well. And then our front two of Hujini and Dominguez, the poacher, who seems to be doing really well with someone up front beside him. We're not changing anything. Like, we're just going to let them play their game. They've been playing really well. This is the biggest test with this formation. So hopefully, the guys can bring it together. We're at home. Chikorita Juniors in second. Come on guys. Let's do this. Decent start. Couple of shots there. Nothing from Chikorita and they are second. Give us a highlight. Give us a highlight. Going to Chikorita. Little clears. I've been good on the counter, pressing on the counter, but nothing yet. Sorry, Sanchez. Still, that block in front has been doing well. Keeper, yes, McAgno. Let's go, let's go. Got to hit him on the break. Forward, Eugene, Diaz. Maybe the only downside is that like, kind of. Conceding possession in that sort of halfway line area. Not over the bar. Get more. Chairs out wide. Gonzalez. Cleared again. Taking on a bit of pressure here. Godoy opens the scoring. 23 minutes gone, 1 0 down. This is what we're afraid of. What happened here? Romo Sanchez. Oh, that's been a that beautiful pass to Perez Godoy. We are playing a much higher line of engagement. Worked against us there. We've been, a, we've been a good team though. We've not maybe I wasn't crazy anything for a highlight, but uh <laughs> here we go again. Oh he spun him. Oh no. Yes, yeah, Macagno. Like, come on guys. Better. And they're gone. The better are the chances. Better with the play, still 1 0 down. Something before half time, maybe? No. Okay, let's let's have a look at this and see. We're not playing bad, I feel bad changing it up. Right, try to inspire the guys. I've gone a bit more attacking and pushed the forward lane up to kind of press them a bit more. Uh, let's see. Run Dazzle. Leguzamon, the Mel. You're right, it's that patient build up Dominguez. Barberini. 
his little run, he's good with that run. He has the brilliant passes behind him. I know. Wait, I like this patience. I'm not panicking. The brigand. Takes him on. Cross. Dominguez. Good chance. Good chance. Come on. What can we do here? Might have to go push someone up. We don't have anything in the next 10 minutes, maybe. They're all over them. Come on, guys. Diaz on the right. The brigand. Looks for Hujini. Go on, Hujini, son. Looking for support. Let's go, right. The right back. This is good play. Melo. Oh, he's lost it. Throw the break. Come on. Stop him. It's a great tackle. Oh, get to fuck. Fucking taking the piss. Never a penalty. Never. Robbed. Fucking robbed. Argentine fucking backhanders here. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, okay. Let's see what this, this brings before we change it up. Here we go, we're going for it. Ronaldo on as an attacking midfielder. Let's get him on Shadow Striker, fuck it. Uh pushed everyone up. We're gonna lose anyway, so you may as well go out with a bit of fucking glory. Let's do this. Just don't concede a fur before we get to make the changes, please. No. Press, press, press. Oh, Shit! Look, what can you do, man? Can press or push in? I mean, they're a good team, but still. But fucking cool. Came off their striker, falls to Jürgen Gonzalez. Oh, get the fuck. Yes, yes, we want these fucking tactical changes. Can get into them. Go. Look at the stats, man. Absolute fucking travesty. Go on, Diaz. Brigand, Garay. Fucking 4 0 coming now. Kill him! Fade They're better than this. How's that very attacking, Mandazzo? Get fucking up there. Really? Rinaldi? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, then. Find someone that's not behind you. That's all. Garay. Zerbriggan. Diaz. I mean, some good stuff at times. There we go. Who's your name? Sick goal. Bit fucking too late now. Let's go. Nice fault. Diaz is bugger than all.
We have scored this 10 minutes ago, we had a chance. They're going to get a fourth now, aren't they? Oh my god. With this at all. Oh, come on, not five. That's harsh. Stop, stop. They're already dead. If he fucking shoots again. Oh, get to fuck. Absolute get fucked. Get with a shite. This game, man. No point being very attacking as though. Well. Can you see? We still had more shots on target than them. And a better XG. I don't know what you say about that, that's more shots, more on target, better XG, same percentage passes completed, they've scored four goals in the last 17 minutes. Right, let's look at the table, so we're still third. Uh, what did Kawan lose as well? Kawan lost 3 0 to Kelmez. We could have gone top. We're now, four points off automatic. We're still four points ahead of Hymnasia in fifth. Okay, so there's seven games left in the season. I'm going to play them out. If there's a chance of us being automatically promoted, I'll come back. If not, it's going to be, hopefully, the quarterfinals, semi-finals, final uh, for promotion. And good on this performance. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, sorry we couldn't get a win. I'm sure some of you quite enjoyed the defeat. Uh, we'll be back next time, hopefully, playing for a place in the first division. Please like and subscribe if you like to see my misery on camera. Thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.